guys, it's Will with Into Mobile, and today we're going to take a look at DropCam, D-R-O-P, Cam. Alright, so what is this? Well, DropCam is basically an internet camera, and what is that? That is basically a webcam, like, say, the webcam you see up here on top of my uh, MacBook Air here. It's a webcam that streams your video live to the internet, um, versus a webcam you'd use for video chats. This guy, um, internet cameras are made to stream video to the internet that you could check on the computer, or, say, on a mobile device even, like a, a smartphone, like a Nexus S, a Google Nexus S that I got right here. Um, but... Basically, that sounds kind of all techy and complicated, right? Well, usually it is. Um, it involves a lot of setup and it involves, you know, futzing around with your router and your computer and make, making sure it's on. Well, so what makes DropCam different is these guys made it kind of stupid proof. They made a two-step, literally. It's a two-step process to set this guy up. You plug him in, you go on their website, and you register it, and boom, you're off and running with full DVR um, capability. You can watch recorded events. You can get event alerts. You know, um, you can get all kinds of uh, live stream video action going on, so we're going to unbox it. You're, I'm unboxing it for the first time along with you guys, so check it out. Alright, we open it, and boom, you get this little thing. This looks like, yep, this is an instruction card, and there you can see. These are the in only instructions you need. Like I said, two steps. Plug in your drop cam, and step two, go to the website. So, plug in how? Well, it looks like you take the camera, and you plug it into power, and you also plug it into your router. Okay, simple enough, right? Alright, let's, let's check out what else is in the box. Opening it up, you get the DropCam cam, right? Okay, so there's got to be hardware, and this hardware is DropCam enabled. It says that right there. It's an Axis camera, but it's got DropCam enabled uh, branded right there. This is a, a microphone for picking up audio, and here's a here's a light for um, for low light stuff, or like a flash or whatever. Um, what else is in the box? Let's see. Uh, it comes with a little stand. You see that? It's got a little stand there. And plugs back here for power and Ethernet. I guess you plug that. The Ethernet is for power or self-explanatory, right? Power. And what else is in the box? You get an Ethernet cable, makes sense, to connect to your router, and some mounting hardware in case you want to mount this guy to a window or um, something crazy. So, well, let's see how this goes. I'm going to, I'm taking the power cord. Here we go. And I'm going to plug it in to the back like so. Boom. Okay. I'm also going to, so I'm going to plug this end of the Ethernet cable into this guy, port right there. Boom. There it goes. You heard it click. Okay, so power and Ethernet, right? Okay, now we got the cam going. I'm going to space, space you guys. So I'm going to take both other ends of the camera, of these cords, and go plug them in. This one goes into the router. This one goes into the wall socket. So I've connected all the cables, right? The Ethernet into the router, the power port, you know, the power cord into the power wall, and notice what happens to the little camera here. He's going to start. There's a little green light that starts going off, and uh, it'll it should start flashing or something to say to indicate that it's ready to be paired. Um, but okay, so it's green now. What am I going to do? Now I'm going to drop cam, as it's like it says on the card here. I'm going to go to dropcam.com/start. Okay, there we go. Bring it up. It says plug, connect all cables, enter your verification. Okay, so I plugged it in. Now I need to activate it. Let me activate it by entering this code in. All right, then I click activate. It's going to try to verify. Oh, there it goes. It already verified. You see how quick that was? I'm just going to create an account. All right, there we go. So I created my account. I named my drop cam. I'm going to log on to my home network, tell, tell the camera what, the, uh, what my wireless settings are, and boom, we are set up and ready to go. In a second, it's connecting, um, it's transferring settings. So basically, drop cam, the settings I uh, indicated for my router here are being transferred to the camera, and the camera is going to find the Wi-Fi network that I just entered and connect to it all on its own. There we go. Your drop cam is now on Wi-Fi. All right, so we got the drop cam all set up. I connected it uh, oh, uh, outside my door. Uh, just powered it on and then connected to the Wi-Fi network. And I want to show you this is the brand new Android app. So basically what happens is everything that you uh, can see on the website, basically streaming video and all that good stuff you can do on the app, um, here's my drop cam. That's the drop cam that I named Will. It's looking at the cat in the hallway right now. Let's see. Oh. 
and you can actually hear my uh, voice over there because the drop cam has a mic. Obviously, with a bit of a lag. And one cool thing about it is uh, the live features. So, okay, check out this guy. I'm going to go put him right by the camera. And there we go. I just put him right in front of the camera, and he's right there cool stuff, right? But it doesn't end there. Um, the Android app also allows you to do a couple of other cool things, like notice if I push this I button, or the information button up here, what it'll do is it'll take me to all the, the event alerts that the camera has triggered, has recorded. Um, basically using the DVR feature, which is recording video, not just the live, not uh, the drop cam isn't just good for live video, it'll record video into the DVR feature, and what it'll do is it'll, it'll alert you to when it detects motion. So if it detects motion, it's gonna. This is a clip that was pre-recorded, and it detected this motion because the cat was sitting there for a long time, and then he just moved. So the motion was detected, and it recorded this event. And there we go. Another clip it, a uh, snippet, a clip, whatever you want to call it. Um, let's see here. So you can also have uh, event alerts triggered by audio, not just video, as you'll likely see here. Oh, that was a motion trigger event. My bad. But you can start to kind of get an idea for how this works. Here goes another motion triggered event. Actually, let's do this one. This is another motion triggered event. From yesterday. There we go. Video quality is uh, QVGA. So you get a little bit of graininess, but the trade-off for that is uh, high speed, very little lag, and the video quality is acceptable. But uh, there is some pixelation; you'll have to you'll have to deal with that. But uh, overall, pretty impressive stuff. The event alerts are cool. You get the free DVR feature for about two weeks. Uh, I believe it's two weeks; could be 30 days um, with purchase. Otherwise, um, after that, you have to actually uh, uh, pay per month for the subscription to the DVR feature. But so there you have it. That's a quick little look at DropCam. And now they have an Android app.